video I'm going to demonstrate something that, a technique that I often use but um, I'm finally going to put a video out on it. It's a way to string a reactive lifeline using a knitting needle. And I have a lot of different videos on lifelines. Um, if you want to click the little I in the upper right hand corner, I'll take you to my, I think my correcting mistakes playlist is the best place to send you. It'll, I'll be explained there. Um, and a lifeline is a way of securing the stitches. If you make a mistake, um, securing the stitches so you don't have a bunch of live stitches all coming unraveled when you go to fix a mistake and rip out some of your work. And I separate lifelines into two different categories. There are proactive lifelines where you're working on a pattern that's kind of complicated and you're stringing bits of scrap yarn through your work as you go just in case you make a mistake you have a place to rip out to and all the stitches will be held safely on the scrap yarn. So that, that's a, a, a proactive lifeline. A reactive lifeline is one where you've already messed up and you're going back and, and uh, stringing a lifeline to grab all those stitches and keep them from unraveling. Um, reactive lifelines are tough if you're working on a complicated pattern. They're really especially tough if you're working on something as complicated like as lace. So uh, if you're worried about at, at all, a proactive lifeline is the way to go, but we all get stuck and um, when I'm doing uh, reactive lifelines with a knitting needle, this is what I use. The only reason that I have a 40 inch long size zero <laughs> circular needle is for this technique. So um, I think every, I use this all the time. I think it's a great thing to have. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, here is my mistake. I've made a very obvious mistake in my work. I've put a purl stitch in a sea of stockinette. Now really the easiest thing for me to do would be to just drop this column and fix it, but I'm demonstrating something here. So we're gonna pretend that it's not quite that straightforward. So I always uh, put a rubber band on the other end of the needle. It's not going to make a difference in a piece this small, but because this needle is so small, such a small size, it slides really easily through the work and it's easy for it to slide right out the other side. So sometimes you'll go to all the trouble to pick up all these stitches only to find that you've been pulling it out the other end. <laughs> this is just a little safety measure. So this is what I have. There's my mistake and I want to string the lifeline into the, the row below or below that, but I'll just go for the row below here. So I'm gonna follow it across. I'm looking at V's and I want to grab, I want to make sure that I unroll it and make sure I get the edge stitch there. I want to put my needle under the right leg of the, each V all the way across. And if the stitches, this is bulky yarn, if your stitches are tiny, just make sure you have really good light going because it can be tough to see exactly what you're doing and make sure you're not jumping up or down a row. I'm gonna check my work here to make sure I haven't jumped up or down a row. I'm going to take this all the way across Okay, now all of those stitches are held safely and I can unravel without worrying at all. Okay, and because I picked up the, what went under the right leg of each, each stitch, everything is mounted correctly. The stitches are all mounted correctly and not twisted. And from here, I actually might want to steam out this yarn because it might not look so good knitting up again, as crinkled as it is. I can just knit off this tiny needle and uh, fix my work without the mistake in it. Just be careful while you're knitting off the tiny needle. Seriously, it's so small, it's so easy just for your stitches to, to accidentally slide off. 
which is why we use the rubber band. Anyway, I hope that helps. Um, this is exactly what I do, how I recover stitches using a knitting needle as a lifeline. Good luck.